Hi, I am Jin Choi, a senior attending Daejeon Christian International School. Today, I want to introduce the DNA microarray analysis software that I helped develop through the bio project at the Air Force Academy. This software was developed for one year with the bio project team at the Air Force Academy, and my part was to develop the algorithm and software module for finding gene spots and drawing red circles around them as a template. Through the analysis of DNA microarray images, this software shows how much the gene expression changed. The two contact microarray images used in this demonstration contain the DNA sequences of a rat's retina. One microarray is when the rat was exposed to sunlight and the other microarray is without exposure to sunlight. In the last part of the demo, we can verify the change in gene expression of the rat. I'm running the Smart Array software and there are two microarray images. One has the gene sequence of the retina exposed to light and one without exposure. And I'll open the first microarray image. And with the zoom tool, um, you can see the gene spots zoomed in. So you can look at them more closely. And this is the first subarray. And it has 14 rows and 14 columns with a total of 196 gene spots. And you can see a total of six subarrays uh, in this microarray image. And uh, with the six subarrays, you can see um, two rows and three columns. And in clone tech microarrays, there are reference points on the right and the bottom of the image. Uh, right now, I am making a microarray template configuration file because each microarray format is different. So for the replication value, I put 1. And then for the number of rows, I put 14. And likewise, there are 14 columns for each multi-array. And for um, this each subarray, I put 2 rows and 3 columns as the values. And as I mentioned previously, the reference points are on the bottom and the right of the image. And I'm typing the type of gene, which is the rat eye. So I'm typing that. And then I'm saving the template configuration file as uh, test.mcf. So we can use it later. So test.mcf. And then save. And OK. Uh, so now we will find each gene spot and draw a circle template around them. And I developed the algorithm and software module for this part of the project. So right now I'm selecting the area for processing gene spots. And I'm using the microarray configuration file that I just made. So uh, I'm reading from MCS. And I'm selecting the file. And I define the template circle size as 4 and the parameters of the algorithm for finding gene spots as 6. So we can see that the software has successfully found each gene spot and drew a circle template around them. So the next step is to do the acquisition of the gene expression in each gene spot. So we're using the mean value as default. And for the top percentage, we're using 50%. And um, we're using a raw format. And for the parameters, we're just uh, using the values here uh, as default. And we're saving the gene expression file for the first microarray as a.gex. So now we save the file, the gene expression file, and we press OK. And now we're repeating the same process for the second microarray. So we're selecting the image uh, of the second microarray. So now we're selecting the area again. And then we press circle. And we're using the microarray configuration file uh, that we made before. And using the same parameters, the same values. So the software has uh, drawn a circle template around each gene spot. So now we can uh, use the same, input the same values as before.
and we'll save this gene expression file as b.gex and this is for the second microarray and we press OK we will use the two gene expression files to compare the change in gene expression so we're selecting a.gex and b.gex and we press OK to compare and as you can see on the top there are numbers 1 to 6 and this represents each subarray in the two rows and three columns of the microarray and each subarray is labeled 1 to 6 and directly on the bottom we can see each gene spot in each subarray labeled um, numbers 1 to 196 and we can verify this by scrolling down and there are 196 gene spot in each of the six subarrays and basically the graph is on the top and the data is on the bottom and now we'll compare the two subarrays um, number two from the first microarray and number three from the second microarray so we draw the chart and as you can see we can change the type of chart from a bar graph to a 3D format and with the bar graph we can see um, the change more precisely and here is a line graph as shown and on the right of the screen is information that we entered for the microarray configuration file and we can verify the information and here we can see the option for normalization and finally we can compare so thank you for watching this demonstration of the DNA microarray analysis software demonstration